good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking friends today is going to be fun and fast i'm going to show you how to make a radial gradient link friends before i get started this is part of the keep the chain going project of course you can find this in my gallery and i'll have links to it in that project i'm creating also don't forget right here is the form where you can share your link so we can add it to the chain so friends this is a chain link we're trying to get as many links as possible and have you customize them of course step one you need to have made a radial gradient if you haven't made that, I will have a link to this tutorial up here. You can get it done in just a few minutes and then come back to this project. The next part is to build your chain link. I'm going to switch back to basic shapes and I'm going to type bent in the search so that I can find it. You'll see here is the bent pipe and I made it a favorite. When you bring this out, we're going to change a few numbers. Make this a 6 and press enter. Make the arc diameter 18 and press enter. We need it to be 180 degrees and press enter. And then these need to be 10, press enter, and 10, press enter. Friends, let's quickly make the second half by doing control D and using the mirror command to flip it. We can nudge it past with the shift arrow keys. And then if I do W for work plane, and I put the work plane right here, I can now click that one and do D to drop, and we've just made our link put the work plane on the bottom and I'm going to group those two with control G now friends that gives us our link but what makes this fun is when you make an inverse hole for cutting it out real quickly I'm gonna do control G to group those and I'll move them off to the side let me show you how to make that mold so I'm gonna go back to basic shapes I'm gonna bring out a cube I'm gonna shift stretch it till it's 90 on a side so I'm actually gonna type 90 then I'm going to make it 20 high. I'm going to take that link and I'm going to make it a hole. So let's make sure I've only got the link selected. And then I'm going to take those two. Notice it says two shapes. I'm going to press L for a line and I want middle. I'm going to look over here at the corner and I'm going to do middle. And I want middle. Now we made this huge. I'm going to show you why in a second. If we hit group and we do T for transparent, you can see that that link is in the middle and it completely surrounds our gradient. We're going to make that a hole, select the two, choose L for a line, choose middle and middle, and look at it from a corner, choose middle. And friends, are you ready for this? If we hit group, after just a moment, you have got a fantastic chain link. All right, so one of the best parts about these is making them custom. I've got a technique that makes it pretty quick. Bring out a rectangle. Note, friends, that our link was 30 by 50 by 6. So we're going to take this cube, and I'm going to tell you to stretch it to 28. So we're subtracting a little. This way, we're going to go the full 50, and then this way, we're only going to go 5 and press Enter. We're going to take those two. We're going to press L for a line. We want to make this one the master and put it in the middle, put it in the middle, and put it in the middle. Now what that lets us do is add words. You can add words to the front, you can add words to the top, whichever way you want. I'm going to do both just because it's kind of funny. So I bring that out, I'm going to shift rotate and go 90 degrees. I'm going to just say something fun. Matter of fact, I'm going to say the word fun. I'm going to make it white just because I think it'll show up pretty well. And then I'm going to shift shrink it so it sits inside the edges of the chain link. That'll be pretty groovy. I can stretch it out and make it awesome. I'm going to also put it out here, bring out another chunk of text. I'm going to put it on that red piece. So that's why we put it there was so it would land flat. I'm going to put the word times. Once again, just being silly, you could put your name, you could put every whatever you wanted. I am going to do that shift squeeze because of cruising, cruising. Notice it fits exactly the way I want, and I can drag that over to the middle. I'm going to take both of those, and I'm going to select them and align them. So once again, L for align, make the link the boss, 
and now that's in place I will stretch it out so it's just the way I want I do want to make sure I have the black handle I'm gonna lower it down spread it out and then I do want to show you this if you want to put this on both sides you can do control D look at the other side and put the work plane there then do D to drop and then you just need to use mirror to flip it I'm gonna look at it from an angle because that makes it make more sense and bingo there is my word on the other side so now friends it's time to cut that out and I have got a super cool technique go back to the half pipe and bring it out and type these exact measurements I'm gonna delete the red piece because I don't need it anymore and we need to do 12, 2.5, 12, 180, 10, and 10. I'll make that larger so you can see it a little better. Let's quickly change our snap grid to 0.1 so it's easier to line this up. And then we do T for transparent and we just nudge it till it fits exactly like that. If you grab just those two pieces, do L for a line. Make sure you make the length the boss, you can set it to that middle. You want to make sure the gap goes all the way around because we're going to make this a hole. So watch real closely, see here how there's no gap? Boom, now there is a gap all the way around, inside and out. I'm going to put the work plane right on this edge right here. Click on that and do control D, D to drop. Click on your mirror tool and bam, we have got the parts we're going to use to cut. Select those two purple shapes, turn them into a hole. I'm going to take those two shapes and I'm going to do control G to group them. And then finally, after that's done, I'm going to select everything and group it to give our link wicked cool rounded text that sits exactly where we want. Put the work plane back on the ground and check out how fun and fantastic that turned out. Now friends, remember with anything you make, you can always click on settings and you can shut off that grid. You can also pick a cool background color that makes your project just a little bit more awesome. And then you can also go back to the Tinkercad dashboard, click on the project properties, give it a name make sure you have a description of course mine says there's a tutorial coming soon and I'm actually recording it right now give it some tags remember if you ever tag something with HLMT 23 I check that tag almost every day and of course when I see your designs I'll give you a reaction finally set it to public so we can all see it and then I always choose attribution no derivatives because I want you to come up here follow the tutorial and gain some epic skills last but not least friends don't forget this step if you click right up here you can generate a link you can copy that link and then you can share it with me by visiting my website and under the Tinkercad Essentials, you can find the HL Mod Tech profile an extra bonus is it is sorted by recent so you should be able to see this all the time as it gets updated and then right here is where you share your link notice we do not collect any emails simply do control V to paste your answer here notice do not add anything else or it will break it and then if you want you can add a comment down here as well and finally simply hit submit once you do that I'll get a note and I'll add you to the main project while we're here friends let me just show you this main project once again always cool if you give it a reaction and when you hit copy and tinker you will be able to see all of the links you can see I've added little notes here so that I can keep track of the count that was when we hit 10 right here was 20 turn the corner for 30 and then bingo we just got number 40 if we do F for fit view you can see it was the Filipino tinkerer that gave us our 40th link friends I want to thank everybody that's made a link so far and it's so cool to see how creative you have all been friends I want to take a moment to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad tons of amazing categories for you to check out 
day one favorites, some useful starters, and then finally the Tinker Cad Essentials. Finally, friends, down on the right, there is the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to mention the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 700 members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.